Shield Maiden is right now the best hero for countering the meta and in today's video I'm gonna try to show you why using this SM deck well now without more talking let's jump into it all right here we are in game number one facing a BK player usually in the first round I go with a healer ranger or a one star villager with a second ability but for now because we are already having a hero in our shop I'm just gonna go with that I'm gonna choose the first ability there's a crazy combo between that ability and the villager hopefully I will try to show you in this game okay looks like our opponent is not playing with anything in the first round so I guess our maiden should win this one that was not even close the maiden is almost at full HP in the second round what I'm gonna do is firstly going with a villager right there a pika just in case Nice, that's what I was looking for. I'm gonna upgrade the villager to the second ability. Now, because of the first ability of the maiden, we are going to get instant supers. And you are going to see that in a moment. A magic archer by him. I really don't think that I am having any problems with that. He's just going to kill himself. Well, the thing is starting from now. Look at the energy bar of the maiden. It is getting filled up. One punch and the maiden is back to another super, that's just so crazy. I don't think this BK is having any kind of chance to win against us in this round. And another easy victory in round number 2. In round number 3, firstly, I'm going to put down the healer ranger to activate the saint synergy. Like that we can receive more heal. And if it was necessary, I think... I can go with a magic archer right in this tile to splash on top of his marcher but I'm not going to do it for now because I'm kinda expecting him to use the demon tile. So I'm gonna play it safe and go with the first ability on top of my ranger. He is having a valkyrie for the untitled so things might not be good for us in the next round. I don't think I'm having any problem with the hook rider, I can just hook him in the next round. Well now, poor maiden is getting super after super that's what i love to see 38 hps from the healing ranger that's just so crazy and looks like the next round will not be existing an easy victory against bk player okay finally we are facing a royal champion this is the matchup that i was looking for let's see how well this deck is countering here he is just playing with a recruit in the first round. Okay. The shield maiden activates the super just in the right time. It's so funny. When the shield maiden is activating the super, she's like saying, Hey, why you are hitting yourself? <laughs> Alright, I'm not so funny. Anyways, we got another super. This should be enough for us to take care of the royal champion. And now we should just out heal the recruit. All right, now in the second round, let's build up our supercharger on the board. I'm going to put here in the last row because I'm kind of expecting him to be having a fisherman and I really don't want my villager to get hooked. A mega knight and prince. Bro just maximizes the royal synergy. Well played by him. Well, now everyone is locking on top of the villager. That's not something that I really want to see. You usually must protect your villager so that she can give the energy to your maiden well i think i am having a plan to deal with that with only one ranged mini i'm not going to move my maiden because there's a chance for my enemy to be having the fisherman so we are going to lose this one but not a big deal now in round number three the plan is going to be putting down a ranged mini in the middle back line to reduce the amount of pushback by one tile and that should hopefully make his rc to steal lock on top of the maiden and that's all that I want to happen. Now for this last four elixirs, I'm just going to upgrade the marcher to the last ability. Alright, will the plan work out for us? Our hero gets knocked out, but the RC is still locking on top of our maiden, that's what I love to see. So the value is insane from our magic archer, finally his RC is down. But will this be enough? I think... It really might be because our maiden is obviously at full HP. We got it guys. We easily got it. 
In round number four, I think his Mega Knight is kinda annoying with the stuns that he's dealing, so I'm gonna go with the unstop and the second ability on top of my ranger. A hog rider and he is moving his RC as well. Fair enough. He's seen good game already. Okay, so uh, this is how we are going to play this game. Alright, I see you brother. So we are probably not going to win this round, but not a big deal. I know what to do in the next one. Alright, in the last round. Firstly, what I'm going to do is moving my maiden one tile to the left. Now hooking his hog rider with a fisherman. And pick and there to protect my magic archer. Now at the start of the round, let's say, good game. You know what guys, I feel like he did not saw that, so let's say good game once again. I think he still did not saw it so perfectly, so good game again. And one more time just for fun. It's not the best way to BM your opponent, but that's all that we got. I really missed the BMing. I wonder if they will bring it back in the future updates. We are only one game away from reaching 3k, let's see if we can do it with this deck. We are facing a nature born player this time. It's always good to face a new hero. We are not having any kind of anti in our deck but we are having something big that called the P.E.K.K.A. A witch? I am really not having a good feeling about this opponent guys. He's having a chumpy as well, which his second ability is going to be so broken on top of the demon tile. Oh boy, we might be going through some rough times. In the second round, I guess we must go with the match archer. Pika really can't do anything against the skeletons from the witch. So, match archer right there and upgrading him to the second ability. Oh no, he did it guys. He did it, he bought the second ability for the champi, now he's just going to heal himself back with something like I guess 13 HP per hit, that's, I really don't know what to do against that, oh my goodness. In round number 3, what we can do, maybe hooking the champi, no honestly that's going to be really bad because he can't just upgrade his champi to the revive and then our backline will be wrecked by him so what i'm gonna do is go in with the last ability on top of my maiden that's going to make his champi deal one damage per hit so hopefully like that we can win and i'm gonna upgrade the magic archer to the last ability as well a prince charge maybe he was expecting me to do something like the bowler against the champi okay this champion is doing one damage right now. Uh oh, he's getting healed back. That's not good at all. Please, match Carter, do something. The jumpy is just not dying. I really don't know, bro. That's just a broken interaction right there. Alright, guys, this is going to be the last game for today's video, and we are facing a countess player. By the way, we are back in the same situation. This game is going to decide if we are going to reach 3k or no. So against the Countess, I like to go with the Taunt ability because I want my ranged units to be protected from the Countess. A Giant by him. I really don't think that we are going to win this first round, but not a big deal guys. Upgrading the Maiden was just a safe play to do. Now in round number 2. Firstly, let's put down the Pecan there, creature just in case. You know what, let's put down the healing ranger as well, now reroll hopefully, nice that's what I like to see, I'm going to upgrade my P.E.K.K.A to the, I think the first upgrade is going to be better, so let's do it and just hope for the best. A dagger goblin and archer by him, okay, the P.E.K.K.A is going to completely wreck the dagger goblin for us, now she looks on top of the countess. Finally, the Countess is done by the Matrix ability and I think it's clear from now guys, we are going to win round number 2. In this round, you know what, I'm just going to upgrade my P.E.K.K.A to the last ability. That is going to show our opponent what the real pain is. Looks like he upgrades his Countess to the third ability. That's well played by him. Now. The Maiden's ability is not going to damage the Countess, but we are still having something that's called 
a big Pekka on the board. So his Countess is finally down. Big hit on top of the Giant and I think we are going to take this round as well. In round number 4, I really don't want to upgrade my Pekka to the 3 star. Here, last ability is not going to give us that much of value, so I'm gonna go with the Magic Archer and upgrading him to the triple shot. A Hog Rider and Prince. Okay. Maiden, we are needing a town at any time soon. Nice, we got it. Countess goes down. That Archer is kinda scary to be honest. But our Shield Maiden is still having a really good amount of HP, so I think we are going to win this game right here, right now in this round. Let's go, guys. And like that, I was able to reach 3k trophies using this Shield Maiden deck. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.